everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the best priced toy haulers in the entire RV industry. This is the 2023 Heartland Gravity Model GR3640. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Gravity and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. to another video again today i am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome price point fifth wheel of the gravity before i begin gotta say hi to will hey will hey how's it going it's going good we are in tampa florida at the general rv of tampa and guys speaking of tampa thank you to everybody who came out to the tampa show will i am exhausted i know i know uh, it's a great show, and we always enjoy meeting everybody and uh, hanging out during the show. And it was so fun going live every morning, showing right, you right. all the brands that we represent. I want to let everybody know, Will, if you guys were at the Tampa show, it was so great to meet you. If you bought a brand that we weren't representing at the Tampa show, go right now to generalrv.com slash Matt, fill out the Matt Cash form. Let us see if we can beat whatever deal a competitive dealership gave to you. And if you were at the Tampa show, it was so great meeting you guys. And Will, we actually have some more RV shows that we're going to be at later this year. Right. We're going to be right here in Novi, Michigan. Bing! We're going to be... Jacksonville Super Show. Jacksonville Super Show. Bing! The Ocala RV Show. Bing! Yep. And then I will be at the Mid-Atlantic RV Show solo. Correct. Well, those are the next four shows that we're going to. Really can't wait to see everybody there. But more importantly, Will, while we're at these shows, we're giving people Matt Cash, meeting people, giving them liquefied, just helping customers out get the best deal in America. That's right. Will, That's what it's all about. Let's begin. Model is the Gravity GR3640. The actual tip tip length of this toy hauler is 40 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 12,248 pounds and the hitch weight is 2,473 pounds. Right up front here, well, we do have a very nice painted fiberglass front cap. Okay. Yes. Underneath, we have the uh, LED lights right there. Yeah. The Kurt Rotoflex pin box. And then underneath here, Will, check this out. It does come with a generator. There you go. EVAP generator, Cummins, batteries right there. Will, if this is entry level, why is it coming with a generator? Because it's a toy hauler. Yes, sir. The toy hauler customers, guys, they go out to the middle of nowhere. Yep. They're in NASCAR races. Right, and they're boondocking. Dirt, dirt, dirt bike places. Yep. You know, sand dunes or whatever. There you go. And uh, that's why they need a generator. Coming on down here. Right here, we uh, have our propane tank. Okay. Check this out. Six-point electric leveling jacks nice love that guys this is a cheaper fifth wheel toy hauler yeah hydraulics and, expensive hydraulics so they don't want to do that and so the cheaper alternative is electric but they gave you six point yes huge love that it's just a, it's a happy medium it's a compromise that's a compromise well right there we have a tiny a bit of storage yeah, not much not much at all but again you're getting that whole garage area that's where your yep. storage is 10 gallon dsi water heater and then underneath there will is spare tire spare tire carrier okay this is heartland which means they do use asdel asdel right. is a green based material it will never delaminate on you we have speakers on the outside and then right here will we have solid steps and then check that out fold up steps there but they gave you at least one set of yes. solid steps that's what we love this also does have the weather guard optimal thermal package which is very nice with a three-year structural warranty and then look at these tires, Will. They're the saloons. I love those. ST235-80R16 with regular Dexter axles there. Okay. And then right here. Oh, no, no, no. Flip it. You can do it. Oh, there you go. All right. Right here, Will, is a little outdoor refrigerator. You got a little spot for that. And then here is a Flame King cooktop there. There you go. And then taking a step back, no slide outs on this side. So that's able to give you a huge power awning. Right. LED that's awesome. Coming on back here again, 
We hate fold up steps. If you're going to do them, make them aluminum. Yep. Love that they did that. And this is a do door to the garage area. Better watch the man hills. Yeah. All right, well, coming around back, we do have a ramp door. This is so nice. This also doubles as a patio, and the ramp door is what you use to get your toys in and out of the garage area. And it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. Okay. No ladder to get up on the roof. It is with the ah, on I the I like go. that for the yes. toy haulers especially. Exactly, dude. I hate those side ladders. Right. Even if it had it, I wouldn't climb up it. Right here, 50 amp service. Here's your fuel pump for you to gas up your toys. Okay. Literally. Unleaded fuel. And then here oh. is the valves for your second gray tank there. Nice. Yes, sir. Like how it's enclosed and everything. Yeah. Coming on down, you can see that it's a cable driven slide out system. Okay. All right. And then to wrap it all up, there's another pull valve. And then here's the other side of the storage. You can see your electric leveling, and then here's your water hookup, black tank flush, and everything. Everything's right there, lit up and dry. There you go. And then here's where your propane tanks go. Well, well, the outside of the gravity looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. Okay. All right, we'll start up front. Got a nice big bedroom here. Connecting bathroom right next to it. Downstairs is your kitchen, living area, dining area. You got a loft up here. Yes, sir. And then in the back is the garage. Are we starting back here today? We sure are, but first we gotta give a big shout out to Lippert. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue the video. Yeah. Great, well, we're starting back here in the rear garage area. Right here, this is the ramp door that I told you about. So, yes. it has these cables, and so it lays horizontal, and you see this? Mm. This is the railing for it to become a patio, which is super duper nice. nice. It just gives you more living room area. Right. Right here is the beds. You want me to start putting that down? Yeah, you gotta be a freaking giant. Right. But right here, these beds are coming down. So, the reason why they're up is so that you can get your toys in the garage area right. and then it's coming down to make beds and then this lower one makes a dinette i will show you that in just a moment <laughs> while that's doing it we have some storage above there right thank there. you will that's Got where you that. put all the gifts that you don't really like for the holidays right you know what i'm saying like you really want to put something up there that you know that you don't really use ever <laughs> and then here it is prepped for a washer dryer if you I needed it. Be side by side here. Yep, yep. Exactly. Just a nice We're little. All in one. Yep. And then, whoa, what's behind your head? Oh, those are the little vents. Let me switch. Uh, you can open these up to let air flow in, so that you know your toys don't build up the toxic fumes. Yes, sir. And then here we do have the bed right here. And then that's good. Well, okay. And then again, another bed here, but then. This flips up over this way, and this flips up over this way, yep. and then a table goes there, so now you have a dinette area. Right, and you can lock that bed in up higher, right? It, this never needs to come down if you right. don't want okay. it to. Well, the toy haulers are like the Swiss Army knives right. of RVs. And then to wrap it all up, you can mount a TV right there. Right there, cool, cool. Coming on through here to the glass door. Will, show us this awesome rare kitchen. Okay. Oh, right. show us that loft area. Oh yeah. So and above that door, you got this nice little loft area for more kids or whoever needs to sleep up there. Yes, sir. 
This kitchen is actually really good for a toy haul. It really, place. hang on. It really, really is. This yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah. Nice tall cabinetry. Toy haulers tend to be taller but the whole way. So you get taller cabinetry in here. Yep. Uh, it all looks really nice too. Yeah. You get this nice little shelf up here with power. Right. A little bit of countertop space. Could you fit like coffee machines up here? I think it's too low. And again, it's just like, it just gives it a little bit of texture. Exactly. Nice uh, big single bowl sink right there with the black faucet. A little bit of countertop space there and some storage underneath. Wow. Um, I'm surprised it's solid surface countertops too. Right, right. Nice storage up top. Big convection microwave. Mm, mm, mm. Nice window on your camping side. Three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights and oven underneath. Did I get this one? Nope. Okay, storage right there. A little bit of countertop space on both sides of that stove top. Storage there. Nice peninsula right here. Oh yeah. And like you said, all solid surface, which is really nice. And then you got three drawers here. On the other side, you get these little, uh, whoa, you okay there? Yep. You get these little stools. They're a little stiff right now, but um, you can sit here and bring them around. Don't, little coffee can't bar. Tell, you can't tell people that they can sit. You gotta, you gotta pull people. the thing, yeah. Pull it, there you go. Okay. I don't know what the weight limit is on this though. Dang. <laughs> so it can hold 150. No, 150. I mean, that's pretty good. It I'm, is, and I'm it's not, not even like squeaking or anything. And you're lifting your feet up, right? Yeah. Should I try? Yeah, I, I, I think you should. I think it's pretty secured. Ready? Dang. There you go, man. That's pretty good, that, actually. That's really good. And again, the fact that it's not even like creaking or anything, like. Right. That's pretty good. And then right here, there is some storage there. And another chair right there. Yep. And then over here, you do have a nice Everchill refrigerator. Yep. Nice big refrigerator. I really like that. Oh, yeah. With two separate pull-out freezer drawers. Right there and there. Yes. And then we do have the toe kickers there. You do. Yeah, it's not the worst place, though, since you're not standing here cooking. Exactly. But... Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this gravity here is uh, stock number 279411. Stock number 279411. <laughs> MSRP is $116,439. It's not bad. That's a phenomenal MSRP, Will. Right. And it has a generator and everything. Right. Now, sale price, we're filming this a little early, and we don't currently have sale prices on the 23s because they're still trying to get rid of the 22s. But if we can get you a sale price, Jen, please make it appear right here. Okay. But again, Will, we were selling these at the Tampa RV Show. They sold phenomenally. Everything sold phenomenally. Of I actually course. don't know if it sold phenomenally. I was making that up. <laughs> but what I'm saying, Will, if we have the Tampa Show price, we'll share it with America. Or we'll share our sale price, but well, it doesn't matter. Right. If you're watching this after Tampa, um, six months from now or a year from now, if you're interested in buying this RV, go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I have that linked down in the description below. I have it linked on our website or call 844-969-4033. We have a team nationwide of specialists that works directly with you guys to make sure we give everybody the absolute best price in America on this RV or any RV. So please reach out to us. Yeah. Will, I don't even know. I mean, this is, you, you gotta show us. Okay. This, this is for the tall, tall people. Storage. Yeah. Right up here. Yep. And there. Really good size storage. It is nice glass, but it's like kind of see-through, but also dark. So you can't really see through it. Right. Nice big Summit TV. I like the size of that. JBL sound system, speakers and everything. Right, and that big subwoofer there. Yep. It's very nice. And then a little bit more storage underneath there. There you go. And then around here, Will, check out these balances. Oh, look, it's the wood. It it's is. wrapping the, again. Yep. Privacy blinds and everything. And then check this out. The nice Thomas Paine collection. Elect oh. I like that, it's actually. Coming out. 
I know, I'm surprised. Very nice, just off the jump box. Right. Does that do anything? Do you want me to pull? Nope. Yeah, okay. I mean, you can try it, but... No, what it does is it reclines here. Oh, so that's a... Re oh, that's big boy recliner. Yeah. So, s sit down... No, Will, sit down on it. We want to okay. see... We want to see what the king looks like when it's <laughs> reclined. Okay, hang on. Let me get this in. Oh, okay. man, look at your legs. All right. Freaking meatloaf over there. <laughs> meatloaf. That's Will's new nickname. I don't like that nickname. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel? It actually feels great. Wow. Yeah. Seriously, Will, that is amazing. Right. Because, again, it's just like, guys, I'm fatter than Will PPI, pounds per inch. But Will's just overall a big guy. Right. And, like, eat, let, let, sit, sit back down. Oh, okay. Like, again, like, even, like, look at your shoulders and the broadness. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That is awesome for the bigger guys out there. Yep. You know, for all you, like, linemen and, you know, big, oh, boys. big boys, you know? You know, you drive an F-350 because you have to, not because right. you want to. Right. Those guys, this works great for them. And then right here's all your buttons. Love how they're buttons. Button drop buttons. And then, Will, I don't even know why I'm doing this review. You mm. might as well finish it all. I don't know either. Get in the shower. All right. Wow, this shower is actually really good. Wow. Great head height, great width and depth. You got a shower seat. This definitely passes. Beep. That's a shower test seal sure approval. Is. Right over here, we have a medicine cabinet. Nice sink, solid surface right here storage under the sink okay and then above in the medicine cabinet bam you can find oh let me show everybody okay very good size and that's where you store your liquefied you guys go. you can get our brand of rv toilet chemical now on amazon link down below guys it's about to be the camping season make sure you get liquefied it smells right. like oranges and it actually liquefies your waste made by the mats rv reviews team there you go and then well sand ain't so it is this is a plastic toilet, womp womp. Well, this is not a prime pooping position. Okay. Please go that way. Let's see if I can squeeze by you. Yeah. And then finishing up, well, what the heck? Okay, so this bed. This is a square bed. Yeah. Open that window. And they shifted it for that slide to be able to come in. Oh. Okay. okay, three AC units, very yeah. nice. But Will, I've never seen a square bed lay on it. Let's see. Oh, it does shift back this way if needed. That's kind. Of, that is kind of weird. It's a good sized bed, but it's very uncomfortable. Well, it's an RV mattress. It's an RV mattress. Yeah. But again, it's just a square shape. I haven't seen one like that. Yeah. Can you open that? Yep. Above us for us. Got some open storage there. Storage there. Storage there. You have power on my side. You have power and a wireless phone charger on your side. Very nice. On my side. Like my side of the bed and your side of the bed. Yeah, because that's where you're standing. There you, oh, okay. And then right over here, we have drawers. Okay. And drawers. Very nice hanging wardrobe. Mm -hmm. And then another drawer right there. Okay. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love, three things we don't love. Well, what do we do first? Three things we love. Okay. I'm going to go first. Okay. Do you have anything downstairs or, I mean, in here? Um, no. Good. Me neither. Let's get out of there. Number one, Will, I'm going to say the six point electric leveling yes. and the three AC units and the generator. Yep. They didn't need to do any of that on this to help keep the price point down, but they did, and I love that. Yeah. That's number one. Well, what's number two? Number two, I'm gonna kind of combo it. Um, these solid surface countertops. Yes. Which in a unit at this price point, I did not expect at all. Yep. But also with that seating arrangement, I love that. Wow. Very nice, and Will loves that Snorlax size recliner seat. Yep. That's number two, and Will, I'm surprised you didn't say it, uh -huh. since you were talking about the countertop. I love this dinette seat. I know, you know that's what I'm cool. Really, really nice. And how to sturdy say. it is. Yep, how sturdy it is. And then that garage area is really nice, and the fact that they're even giving you a patio set with this. Again, right. Super nice at this price point. Cool. That's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it, and Will, we actually have two of those three things outside. Yep. Will, dislike number one, 
is this. I do not like this. Will, this is going to, if when, if you're standing there. And the right. Wind, dude. Oh, it is a good magnet. Still, it's also where you're pulling okay. from. Yeah, you ready? Yep. If wind hits this, bam. Right I, into your head. I do not like that. It needs to be on a strut. That's not safe. I agree. And it's not safe for little people. And I have a hard time even putting it up. Well, that's this like number one. What's this like number two? All right, guys, this like number two is going to be this door. This is just a very awkward door. Um, number one, it doesn't open that much. It's held up by a, or it's held uh, almost like closed a little by that strut. These steps are narrow. This door is narrow, and then you get this little thing here. It's just really tight getting in and out. Yeah, it's like a tight doorway. Yeah. That's dislike number two. Will, what's dislike number three? All right, dislike number three, honestly, it's pretty much just gonna be this whole bathroom. Yep. This whole area is tight. Yep. They shouldn't have done the double entry. Yep. They should have done a porcelain toilet, made it a little bit bigger. Yep. Uh, it, it's just, yeah, I don't like it. There's only one good thing about the, the shower. Uh, no, not just that, but like sitting on the countertop there. Oh, yeah. The liquefied. It fits perfectly in the medicine cabinet. It does, yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you everybody who was at the Tampa RV show. Guys, if you didn't buy the Tampa RV show, it doesn't matter what RV you're looking at, you can always reach out to us online at generalrv.com slash matscast. I'm talking any brand, please reach out to us um, because... There are certain rules we had to follow during the Tampa show. Tampa show's now over, so it's fair game. Reach out to us. Go to generalrv.com slash matscash. Link down in the description below. Link on our website or call 844-969-4033. Will, what do you want to say to America? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you guys liked checking out this Gravity. Again, this is a great, great option for somebody who wants a toy hauler, but at a really good price point. Yes. Budget. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you uh, liked about this crap and three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for Thank watching you. and we'll, we'll see you next time.